Hello, I'm Arthur. Welcome to my lab. I bought through eBay these YMZ284 chips, which are audio generator. These chips are compatible with AY38910 chips, and these were very popular in 8-bit computer era. Um, many computers use these chips for audio generators, and also some, some devices, some other devices use these. Um, these two chips are supposed to be functionally equivalent in terms of audio generation. There is obviously a difference in size between these two chips, but that's because this chip here, the AY38910, has two parallel ports in addition to the audio circuitry, where this chip here only has the audio circuitry. And the other major difference is that uh, the three channels that are uh, generated by both chips, three audio channels, uh, on this chip are connected through to three separate pins and on these chips they're all combined and uh, output on one pin. So you have the audio signal mixed. But other than that, if you look at the data sheets of both these chips, you'll see that the registers, the internal registers are equivalent the main difference being, of course, that the AY chip has the input-output port enable pins or uh, bits and also input-output port ports, whereas the YMZ uh, chip lacks these enable bins, uh, bits and, and ports. So let's see how the two chips compare in terms of generating audio because I'm not interested really in using the um, ports I just want to generate audio with these chips. So let's see how this uh, chip from, from China that I got, this YMZ that I bought through eBay, compares to the original uh, microchip chip that I bought from Mauser Electronics. I know that this chip from Mauser Electronics that I bought a year, uh, years ago is a good genuine chip made by uh, microchip. And I know that whatever this chip does is the standard. This is what how this chip is supposed to behave. Now, this, I was hoping that this would be a real Yamaha chip. But let's see how it compares, how it, its output compares to the known good uh, microchip. So on the oscilloscope, you see on the red channel that's connected right here uh, to the uh, microchip chip, to the AY chip, you can see a square wave, and this square wave goes from 0 volts to 2 volts. That's the amplitude of this square wave. And the frequency, frequency of course, doesn't matter. I just uh, programmed whatever frequency um, just for testing. So now let's enable the yellow channel, which is connected to the Yamaha chip and see how it compares. So of course immediately you see that first of all the base voltage is not zero volt. This chip does not go down to zero volt. It actually starts at one point um, I don't know three or so volts maybe one, one and a half actually. Um, and also um, instead of having a high pulse it has a series of the, these needle, needle pin pulses. And actually these pulses, the frequency of these pulses, correspond to the frequency driving this chip. So basically, the, obviously the, this cannot be a real Yamaha chip. Yamaha would not make a mistake like that. So this must be a Chinese knockoff copy. And unfortunately, um, it's not working properly. It's obvious just by looking at this that um, this should have been just a high-level signal all throughout. And don't mind that these two sh uh, signals are shifted. It just basically is caused by the difference in timing when I ran the code to enable these two chips. So they, they don't have to be to line up exactly as far as where the signal goes high and low, but the, the frequency, as you can see, is sort of the same. The length of these pulses is the same as the length of the high-level signal uh, here coming from a Y chip, and the low-level of the signal coming from YMZ 
is the same as low level of the AY chip. So they're pretty much programmed the same, but of course there's a difference in how they behave. So let's run a little test and let's let's see how they respond to to a test. So first I'm going to alter the amplitude of the signals from both chips and see how they respond. The altitude of the signals should be changing the same. So as you can see, um, the AY goes all the way down to zero and then up, but the YMZ signal drops to the, its bottom level way before the AY reaches that level. Let me rerun this again and stop the display so that we can take a better look at, it, at this. So here, the signal from YMZ is almost at the minimum level where AY still has ways to go. So what this tells me is that the circuit that controls amplitude is not correct in, in the YMZ chip either. So that's another issue with, um, with this device. Now let's test the envelope of these signals and I'm going to change my time base. So now I'm sending different envelope or the same envelope to both chips at the same time and as you can see the envelope drops off to zero on YMZ much faster than it uh, dropped off for a Y chip. Same here. You can see that this triangle drops off to zero way before the other chip does. And same thing again, and I'm actually going to freeze frame this one. So the amplitude of the signal goes down to zero around here for the YMZ chip, and it just remains zero. Whereas for uh, a Y chip, it continues dropping off down to here. So what this means is that the code written for both chips will not behave correctly. You will not be able to get the full amplitude range uh, with YMZ chip. You get uh, much fewer bits of resolution. Um, I'm guessing maybe the, the lower bits of the amplitude are being just chopped off or ignored by that chip. So that's another problem with this chip. So these are the, the chips that I bought uh, from China through eBay. There's plenty of them on, on eBay and they all look the same on the pictures so I'm, so I'm I'm guessing that they are all the same and they all will show the same problem so I would say avoid buying these these chips unless you don't mind having these problems and you just want to play with them and uh, you don't really, don't really expect to produce um, quality audio you just want to have fun with these chips then yeah sure why not but if you're going to produce real quality audio, then these chips are probably not for you.